Hey what is up guys, it is your boy Amphitea here bringing you another video today. Today guys, we're going to be showing you how to reroll on Last Claudia. This will be pertaining to the Japanese version of the game, but however, this should also be working for Global as well whenever Global comes out. So let's go over it. Now real quick, I do want to say this will be primarily focusing on emulators and more so than anything uh, than just regular Android devices or iOS devices, so keep that in mind. But however, I will tell you real quick how to reroll on an Android phone and on iOS. So this is this entire guide is assuming that you have already decided you are going to reroll. Like you have already decided that you have downloaded the game, you played through the tutorial, you did all of that, and you are ready to reroll. Okay? Like you already downloaded the game, you have everything like that, you did your pulls, you didn't like what you got, so you're ready to reroll. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So if you are on iOS, the way how you reroll is you delete the app and you have to reinstall it. That's how you reroll on iOS. It's the slowest method, but that's the way how you do it. However, if you are on Android, the way how you reroll is you hold down and you go to app info. If you are on Android and it's not jailbroken slash rooted, you will click clear data. Whenever you clear data, you go back into the game, you download the data again, and then boom, you start rerolling. That's how you do it. And you just keep doing that for every single reroll. Now, however, let's talk about if you are on a emulator. So I wanna show you guys something real quick. Um, I'm going to reroll for you guys and I'm going to show you pretty much the best method on how to get through the reroll process for this game very quickly. So before I actually show you the way how you do it with emulators, I wanna show you a very quick process you can do to get through the entire beginning of the game and go straight into summoning. So I wanna show you that real quick before we talk about actually how to do it the quickest way possible with the emulators um, so you don't have to download anything. So once you create your name and all of that, of course you guys know we have this opening cinematic. You cannot skip this at all. The only way how you can skip cinematics in this game that are CGI is if you have seen them before. If you have seen them before, then you can skip them. But if you have not seen them before, you cannot skip them. So you have to watch this. There's no way to skip it. Good thing though, it's not that long. It's literally just Ray and Kyle riding up on the ship. Ray does his lightning attack and that's pretty much the entire thing. So yeah. Same thing with this, there's no way to really skip it. The only thing I can tell you is either tap on the screen a lot or just, if you're on an emulator, just start clicking. Just start clicking and that's the best way to do it. Just keep spamming uh, your mouse button and it will just go right to this. So yeah, so this will teach you the trick that I wanna teach everybody that is on Android. If you're on Android, you don't even need to be on an emulator or a rude device to do this. If you are on Android, I'm gonna teach you a really cool trick. So you know how this entire segment right here is extremely long, extremely annoying. You have an entire tutorial segment that you have to do however what I've told you I could skip you could skip it you see this back button right here on the emulator and this is on Android phones as well click the back button it pops up the menu click the red button click the red button again it's gonna pop up game over oh snap OP don't that doesn't mean we have to restart it nope doesn't mean anything watch this you will literally load up at the summoning part that's where you'll start You're going to start at the summoning part. You see this? And then boom, you're already at the summoning part. So that's the way how you skip the tutorial in the beginning. So boom, you did your first summon and that is how you do it. So you just, you know, do the free summon and then you go in ahead and click OK. Now for your next summon, what you will do is you are going to be doing this right here. You're going to click past this and you're going to, you know, continue with the uh, tutorial. You're going to click OK. You're going to click on this. You're going to click on your arc. And then you're going to click on the home page. You're going to click OK again. And then this right here is where you get your next multi, which some people may not know you actually get another multi. But yeah, you do. So you have two multis per reroll currently at the launch of the Japanese version of the game. Um, so you click the 3K. You click the blue buttons, which accepts it. And then you click back. You go into the summoning, which is this crystal right here. You click it again. You do your next multi. Now, in my personal opinion, the best thing that you can roll currently in the game, currently in the game, the best thing you can roll is a, is two units, two units, and then either one to two arcs. If you don't know what arcs are, arcs are like the equipment slash like settings that you see, um, and that aren't units, those are arcs. So you see right here, we got a gold, it didn't turn SSR, so this entire account's a bus. So you see, boom. There we go. 
So I know I kind of did this in a weird order where I explain how to go ahead and reroll on Android and iOS and then with emulators, I'm walking you completely through it. But I just, you know, it, it's not really that hard with Android and iOS at all. So um, you see, this account's a bust. So I'm not even gonna finish this multi-summon because I don't get anything else. I'm just gonna get SSRs. So what you do is you'll close the game. Um, if you are on LD Player, if you are on Nox, if you are on anything like that, what you do is you actually bring up the display real quick. Hold on a second. Uh, where is it? Here it is. So what you do is if you're on Nox, uh, Bluestacks, LD Player, whatever the case may be, this is what you do. So if you guys see right here, if you click this cog button, there should be a similar one on your emulator, depending on what you're using. Click the cog button. Once you click it, you'll see this right here, which is your settings. So what you are looking for is either a customized tab or something like that, or it's actually in basic, isn't it, for LD player? Yeah, it is. So you're looking for, at the, on Knox, as soon as you click the cog or the settings, it should be instantly. As soon as you click it, it's gonna pop up. But if you're on Bluestacks, I'm not for sure, but if you're on LD player, this is how you do it. You wanna just, the main point is though, you just wanna make sure that root permissions is enabled. You want to make sure this is enabled and you have root permissions enabled. That's all you want to do. Just make sure that is there and you have that. So if that is enabled, you know, click save. And if it wasn't enabled, you're going to have to restart your emulator and then bring it back up. Once you have root permissions enabled, what you do is you open ES File Explorer. Now, if you do not have ES File Explorer, go to the App Store and download it. However, if you already have it, then good. You don't need to worry about anything. You can go ahead and proceed. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this. It's going to open. Um, if you just open this, it's going to ask you for super user access. You're going to grant that. If it does not ask you for super user access, what you do is you click the top left button. You see the side menu right here, this top left. You click that. You scroll all the way down to Root Explorer and you click Root Explorer and you make sure that it turns blue. Once it turns blue, it's going to ask you for super user access and you're going to grant that. After that, what you're going to click is internal storage. Once you enable super user access, you're going to click internal storage. From internal storage, you're going to click all the way over here. You're going to click this little slash. You're going to click the slash. You're going to click data, then data. And then from data, what you're looking for is, well, actually, see, let me, can I like make this bigger so you guys can kind of see it to an extent? So right here, you see where it says com.atis.lastclaudiaj. It says JPN, you know, representing, you know, last call a Japanese version. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this folder. This is the folder you're looking for. If you do not see it, the way how you look for it, you come up here to the search bar and you just type in last. You just literally type in L A S T and it should pop up right there. You see, and you're looking for that folder. So you're going to click on this. And then once you click on this, you are going to go into um, we're not going to go into anything. You're going to hold down on the shared preferences folder. You see where this is checked right here. You're going to hold this down. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to click the delete button. This will delete your account from the game. Okay. So make sure you don't do this. If you have a good account, don't do this. But if you do not have a good account, you know, you want to reroll it. What you do is you click delete and then boom, bring it back over to the thing. So once it's deleted, you just do this back it up open last claudia again you don't need to turn off your root explorer because there's no like checking for root at the current moment so you don't need to worry about that and you wait for it to load then boom here we are last claudia if we click the start it's going to ask you for a name so you know just make whatever you can always change it later i'm just going to put my name like usual and then i'm gonna click ok and then since we just deleted our account we don't have to download anything we skip it entirely we don't have to download anything we go straight into the cinematic okay literally watch we go straight into the cinematic you see where it says now loading we don't have to download anything we go straight back into the cinematic and this is the fastest way to download or not download but the fastest way to re-roll in last claudia so yeah guys i've been doing this a lot recently over the past two days ever since the game came out trying to get a good account um it is a very it's very hard to actually get one currently in the game because there's only 12 units 12 gotcha units pretty much and then like everything else there's like 30 40 worm i said worm prints 30 40 arcs um in the game so yeah it's heavily weighted but from what it seems like right now from what people are saying that 
arcs are almost better than units it's just you have to have units to put them on so yeah <laughs> but yeah guys it's gonna be it hopefully you guys enjoy this hopefully you guys get good rolls and all that so that is how you re-roll on last claudia hopefully it wasn't too bad hopefully i was able to explain it well enough but yeah guys it's gonna be it for the video thank you all for coming out man it's been your boy op hit that like button and i'm out guys peace also subscribe for more last claudia content i'm gonna be posting this game a lot